Today in Relax and Paint, I'm going to go over some blossoms and some shading that's going to be a little different. And I do want to use an angle brush on some, and I want to use, uh, I'm going to use flat brushes, but I really want to use a filbert to show you some fun strokes that we can do with the filbert. So I have, I was just trying to see if I have a larger one and a smaller one, but I'm going to go ahead and use our one in our signature set, which is a 10 filbert for a couple of flowers that we're going to do. So I'm going to do it on some black art paper and let's see how it turns out. All right. So let's go and do the overhead camera. And then what will happen? Let's pull it over here. Then we are going to get started. Now what's going to happen is we're going to use, oh, come on, come on. There we go. We're going to use all these different colors and they're all multi-surface paints. And they have this little lid that shows glass, metal, wood, ceramic mirrors. There's all kinds of things, indoor, outdoor, which makes it a wonderful paint. And this is the new labels on all the bottles with a clear cap. And so that might help you say multi-surface. That's what I'm looking for. All right. So I put out assorted colors. I'm going to tell you as we paint, so you'll know. And I'm going to use some of my um, everyday paint brushes that are my tried and true. And then I'm using some of my signature brush set. So when you're looking at these, you can always go to onestroke.com, all spelled out, and pick up all the brushes and all that I'm sharing with you. And you will see on these relaxing paints and on uh, Fridays, you will see how I'm using and teaching different strokes using different fun soothing projects to work on and how simple it is even without a pattern so that's the love of it is that you learn how i lay out the design makes it easy for you to be able to teach yourself how to paint pretty quickly and you can do it right here online with me now i'm going to take my brushes and this is an angle brush and it's a five eighths angle okay see how it's not straight it goes at an angle now it makes wonderful uh, vines so i'm going to go in between the two colors and i'm going to take that chisel and lay it down flat and the one thing i want you to see is that the toe is uh, the point and the heel is the small edge the small end right here, the shorter end. Okay, but let me tell you, I just realized something. The important thing is whatever's gonna follow on that toe. So this is dark, I don't wanna use dark and I just loaded it that way. So let's turn the loading over. See, that's a good reason that I did it wrong so I can show you what would be better. All right, I can also put in some white. This is wicker white, citrus green and sap green. All right, and I'm gonna get a teeny bit of medium because I want this, just remember, it should feel like butter when you're stroking, all right? So I'm gonna come right up here and I'm gonna have some little filler stems of blossoms. I can put some little fine strokes here and I put a little bit more pressure here and hardly any pressure on here, all right? So that's gonna help you with the little sprays of white flowers that I'm going to put on here. All right. And you probably have seen these right on this listing when you went to watch it. All right. Then I'm going to put a big flower here. So I can just kind of say it's going to be right in here. And they're roses. Okay. Just kind of like a wild rose, a little bit open. All right. So I'm going to have one here. I can use chalk or whatever to lay that out. And then I'm going to come right along here and pull a stem, which is going to be a cut stem for each one of these two flowers. Okay, a little bit over here. And I'm going to put a leaf here and a leaf there. All right, a little blue sprays of flowers over here. You can tell when you're dry, you have to go get more paint. Okay, little sprays of greenery from these guys. 
a few in here. All right, let me move it up so you can see. There we go. So that's the layout first thing. All right, now I'm going to paint my flowers first, and I'm going to use, let's see, we got a 16. This is a 16. There we are. All right, I'm going to wet my brush always, lay it on the paper towel. Now, the first rose I want to do, I'm, I'm going to pick up uh, some butter pecan. No, excuse me. This is coffee latte and wicker white. It could be titanium or wicker white. And now I'm going to work this in. I'm, I'm doing two thirds coffee latte, one third white. Okay. Now, see how the blend is. I go all the way up. I work the paint inside the brush. <coughs> so look, I'm going to come right along here. And what I use that coffee latte is just to get a little bit of color. And I keep coming over here. See how I keep coming over here and getting paint. So I'm pat, 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 pat. All right. Now I'm going to come back in here. Now this is going to be a little bit more petals. The white's making this petal look good. Okay. I don't want it exact. I want it kind of sketchy a little bit. Not perfect. So can you see that? A little bit of separation between petals. I'm not scrubbing and wiggling this like my traditional rows. I'm just coming in here. And see, I can come in here and do another layer. Another layer. All right. Come right in here. See how I'm tapping that? Pat, pat, pat. All right, so I can come a little bit more. This angle brush works good uh, to do this sometimes. I'm using the 16 though right now. All right, so there's the center. We're gonna put a center in there, all right? Now I don't have to clean my brush, but I can go to my June Berry, all right? And pick up a little bit of white. And I want to make this muted too, like I did with the coffee latte. See how I just work this in. I put the June berry into the coffee latte area. And then I put white on, more white on the other edge. All right, so if you looked at this, all right, I'm tapping. Now on this side, I'm gonna stop a little bit. And I'm going to keep going in here. You see those little edges of white I'm trying to get here. And I want to make a cup right in here. Because inside that cup is where I put the center. This was looking straight at you. Okay, but I'm going to come right across here. Let's get more white in here. Right across there, right across there. All right, now we're gonna come around here and around here. A little bit around here. And I really am going to put these mostly up, like right in here. All right. There we go. So it's just a little bit of the petals in the back. You're working towards the front and you're getting just a tinge of that color. All right. Now I could take, this is like an eight, right? Yeah. I'm gonna take the eight and I'm gonna put a little bit of the sap green. So we got Juneberry and white, coffee latte and white, citrus and sap. I'm going to get some sap 
and I'm going to ever so lightly tap this in here and tap it in here. All right, so after I tap the sap, I'm going to bring some citrus. All right, so right there and right here, a little bit of citrus in here. All right, and then I can um, come with a teeny bit of this yellow, even some white and yellow. Then I can just put a little bit. Nobody yellow. There we go. All right. So if you have a pretty center, your petals don't have to be beautiful as long as you have that great looking center. All right. Now, after I lay that main part of my painting down, then I'm going to come in here and let's get some green. And I want the light color again on the toe. And then I'm going to come here and side load white on the citrus edge. Okay, now I got mud. So I'm going to go back and get dark and white. And I'm going to even put a little bit of blue peacock. Okay, look how pretty that looks now. All right. So what I'm going to do is I want to put some flowers on all these and I want to come here and bring some little bits of fern and it's just the way you touch this canvas, all right? This is black art paper, but look, I can push and bring it back, push and bring it back. This is on the chisel of the angle brush, okay? Now, if I come over here, I push and stand up, I need citrus. And what this does, it looks a lot like this side. All right, so I want you to see that we can come in here, and lay it down, lay it down. So I'm laying on the side. And then I'm pulling the toe to make the point, right? I'm going to get some blue and come in here some more. So the toe makes it really easy for you to pull these vines in or stems into the lace. Okay. All right. Now, I do think it's good to come in here and make a couple of Juneberry roses, little bud, uh, little rose, tight rose buds. Okay, now I can come in here with a little bit of yellow. And look at this, little bits of yellow with this eight. Now I'm gonna keep coming over there. There you go. Okay, one more over here. All right, that gives you a little bit of brightness. Now I do want to come in here. Let's do a 16 again. I think I need a smaller than that. All right, so let's use a 12. <clears throat> So what I want to do is I want to take some blue peacock with some Prussian blue. And then let's pick up some citrus. Let's get some darker blue. 
And I could even put some sap in there to get that really good blue tone. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of white. Okay. So look what's going to happen here. Here's my center of my leaf. All right, I'm going to go push, push. All right, I'll watch this again on this side. Okay, I'm going to come right here and I'm going to push, 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 push. And then I pull this down around. All right, so I'm going to come right in here. Remember, I want those blues. Okay, so I'm going to have a couple of these coming up here. Before we put little blossoms. All right, so we've got another leaf coming here. I'm going to come down here. Now I'm also going to take it from here. Pressure. Right, look at this though. So we're going to come from here, 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 there. All right, so let's get some more white. And we're, oops. And, <laughs> and some blues. That is not working. There we go. I'm going to push this here. All right, I just want to get some white right there on the tip. Now look, I'm going to pull down and I have a second wave. See the little strokes? This is a leaf that makes it easier for you to do. And that is because I'm using citrus and I'm picking up some pretty blues. And we're going to be down here. But let's pull some white in here. Oops, too much. Okay, so let's do it here. All right, so that one does have a lot more blue. I'm gonna pull the stem. From here all the way in. I'm going to come right along here, though, if you need to come back out with some. All right, so see how that gives us some bright color. Now, I can come back in here with blue and white and pull a little bit of blue into there. And I'll make it give us a nice look. A little bit of blue into here. So blue and white. All right, see how that just gives you some pretty color. This makes a little bit too much white so I can come back in there. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna just pick up the greens a little bit of white and just make sure that I pull these stems in here. So we're gonna tap, 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 tap. You see this is kind of relaxing. So some of it you want light and just tap. And some of it you want strokes. Just a little bit of fun here. All right, so let's take our filbert now. I told you we're going to use a small eight and then we're going to use a filbert. And so let's use a filbert with some blues because we put a lot of blue in here. So I'm going to, I got to wet this first light on the paper towel. White and blue peacock. And white. Okay, so this is what I want to do. I'm going to push, push. See how I'm picking up more white? 
and you just want the rounded of the filbert to get you that little bit of roundness of the petals. See, I'm gonna do just barely touch. This one needs some more. This one needs some more. There we go. So blue and white. Okay, so just a little bit of blue in there. And I'm gonna come up here. Little bits. I need more blue, do you see that? Little bit of blue. All right, have a few. And then in between, I'm gonna put some light. But when I do blues, I have a triangle there and I have a triangle here, but I think we need a little bit more blue. Because we've got one, two, we have some blue in the leaves, so will make the blue balance. But let's put a little bit more right here. Okay, and make a little bit more white in here. Okay, I'm barely touching the filbert edge. All right. All right, so see it's popping. It's starting to look good. Now then all I wanna do now is take this eight and we're gonna come in here with some white blossoms. Okay, now I could put little daisies, but I think what we want is let's come down a little bit more so you can see, I'm just going to Make little blossoms. Four and five petals, okay? All right, just a little. A little teeny. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. You see little, oh, you couldn't see that one. Let's do the same thing here. One, two, three, four, five. Now this is an eight. You can use a six or a two. It'll just be really small, which you could make them small here, smaller than this if you want to. All right, so up here on this stem, we have a few. See, one, two, three, get a bigger one. So what do you think? It's kind of fun. And we're almost done. There we go. All right, I put couple more petals here. All right. So now if you look at the whole piece, all right, there we go. All right, so I am going to make this a little bit darker with blues. I think it needs that, you see that? I'm going to put, this is Prussian blue with Juneberry, see that? And so to get this depth in here, you can also just make these little, look, I can slip slap make it a little bit of a small hydrangea instead of rosebuds to get that color I want. I'm putting more blue, which works with the blue in our painting. All right, so one, two, we need another one. Let's put a little bit of cluster here. Okay, just a little bit. The last thing I wanna do is bring some little white in here. 
because that pulls all of our white together. Oops, 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 oops. All right, just little bits. And I'm taking the, the toe of that angle brush and I'm just working it into here. Last thing we need to do is put some centers in these little flowers we did. Like I said, they don't have to have great petals as long as they have a, a really nice clean center. Okay, we'll put a little bit of dark blue in there, Prussian blue. There, I think I like that better, it just pops. The other ones didn't show up as much. All right, so I'm going to take my one strip liner, a little teeny, small, small, and I'm going to put a little yellow, A little bit in here. See, there we go. All in this blue, it can use this. Okay, and in here. And so I need to figure out what color I want in the white blossom. See how those have a little bit of yellow, it pulls all the yellow together. And in the white blossoms, we're gonna put some blue. Okay. Just come around here. I can add a little bit of white to the blue, but I think if we just put blue in there, the white will you touch it, it'll make it a little bit lighter blue. So the rich colors of the, the blue mixed in there finishes off this really fun project. All right, so sign it and share it. Come to our Facebook group, Donna DeBerry's official one stroke group on Facebook and share and just join us and see what we're all about. Um, also, One Stroke Advantage is a membership that gives you a lot of advantages as you're learning one stroke. But check out every Friday. Please check out my practice stroke. So if there's any stroke you were having a hard time or you want to learn or practice more, go to Practice Strokes every Friday, all right? And I'm going to teach you a little tutorial for about 10 minutes. And I have so many people that binge on it because they're loving what they're learning, and especially if you're going, I want to learn more of this one stroke. And how do I do that, ma'am? I have that all the time, okay? So touch and pull. I like to, this is citrus. So see, I'm just coming in here. You can learn how to do butterflies and different insects to come add to your piece. If you like, there we are. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.